What? Hello? Um, hi. A red door? I I'm certain this wasn't here before. Yeah, I doubt we could have, uh, we could possibly have overlooked something this obvious. I wonder if the appearance of this door is what caused the tremor earlier. Hmm, it's plausible. I've seen enough of this building that I could believe almost anything. Regardless, it bears investigating. You're right. Maybe it'll give us a clue that'll lead to some answers about this place. Randy and the others began investigating the mysterious red door. Though they searched the surrounding area thoroughly, they could find no sign of a keyhole or anything unlocking, uh, or any other unlocking mechanism. As a last resort, they even tried brute force, assailing it with their weapons and to force it open. However, in the end, all tuckered out. It's no good. This thing's not going to budge. All those. Uh, shots, and I couldn't even see them, and I can't even see a mark. My orbital staff and arts don't seem like they're doing any damage either. It's gotta be made of some material we've never even heard of before. I doubt even military-grade explosives would do much. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that just breaking through is off the table. You can hear the sound of cogs and springs coming from it, too. Or maybe there's something on the other side. Have you guys tried that? Have you guys tried just pushing it open? Ugh, the mark on my chest. Reveal. What was that? What's wrong, Reen? It's nothing, but it looks like we, uh, we've done all we can, can here for now. We should head back up. Bah, it felt, felt like we were so close. The red door is sealed firmly shut. The hum and whir of mechanical sounds can be heard coming from it. I don't think there's much more we can do here for now. Let's go back and report. Reen's hiding something. <laughs> Reveal. Reen, have you ever just tried flashing it? <laughs> That's horrible. If I end up being right, out the window with this game. Alright, uh, well, nothing else we can do in here. So, I mean, unless we want to just grind. I mean, I guess we could do that. Looks like it's already evening. I'd really like to submit a report on that red door before the end of the day. Now that you mention it, the principal isn't in today, is he? Perhaps we should just report it to Instructor Sarah for now. Yeah, you're right. I'll tell her about it after we get back to the dorms. Anyway, thanks for coming along again. And I don't know about you guys, but after that, I'm feeling pretty beat. Make sure you get some good rest tonight. Will do. Alright, later. Dragon Vision. Receive one additional bonding point. And how many bonding events? One, two. Uh, oh. If we leave the school grounds, that's it. Okay. Now, I think it's time for that hidden quest. Are you still there? Alright, so who are my options? I have Elliot and I have Laura. 
So the two that weren't available this afternoon. Uh, let's see. Buttons. How do they work? Here we go. Here we go. You there. You have a hidden quest for me. Hmm, what am I going to do with this? Is everything okay? Oh, hey there, Reen. To tell you the truth, I found an ink brush on campus this morning. Now I'm trying to figure out whether or not to toss it in the incinerator. It's pretty nice. What do you mean by ink brush? Well, it's a brush, but it doesn't uh, look like it had it's had any paint on it. Mind if I take a look? Skyler showed Ren the ink brush. Oh, I recognize this. This is most likely an Eastern calligraphy brush. So you've seen one of these things before? I have. Someone close to me had an interest in calligraphy, so it's a familiar sight by now. It's an art that has people putting all of their thoughts and emotion into whatever they write. Skilled calligraphers can express those feelings in every stroke of the characters they write, uh, they're writing, making their work unique. Well, isn't that something? Now, I'm sure its owner must have left it behind by accident. I wish I could get it back to him, whoever they are. Hmm. Do I know anyone uh, from the Academy as interested in Eastern calligraphy as my master was? There's only one person I can think of who'd have the same interest as he does. I don't even think he's supposed to be on campus today, but it's worth a shot. I think I know who this brush's owner is. Would you mind uh, giving it to me for now? Oh, do you? That'd take some weight off uh, my shoulder, my old shoulders. I'll let you, I'll tell you that. It's all yours. Thank you. I'll be sure to take you right over. I just hope you've got the right person in mind. A brush with destiny. All right. So it turns out there is a person, and they may or may not be in the school. Uh, which is an I, not sure. <laughs> I don't remember what floor it's supposed to be. Let's see, faculty. Hey, right, look who it is. Mr. Uptight. Ah, you're in today. I'm glad I uh, caught you, Principal Van Dyke. I heard that you weren't going to be on campus today. Good day, Schwarzer. Unfortunately, I'm only here to gather the papers I need for my next meeting. In fact, you caught me right as I was about to leave, but did you have something to ask me? I can certainly spare a minute or two to help a student. Thank you very much. I do have one quick question. He definitely doesn't have time for a report on the old schoolhouse. It's kind of a strange one, too. Skylar the janitor gave me the sink brush. It wouldn't happen to be yours by any chance, would it? Reen showed Principal Van Dyke the e Eastern ink brush. That it is. I was just lamenting its loss earlier. I thought as much. I'm glad I could re reunite it with its rightful owner. Thank you ver ever so much. Where did you say you found this again? Well, Skylar gave it to me. And he told me he found it near the water fountains this morning. I see. That would make sense. I was giving it a good cleaning over just uh, there just this morning. However, I left it there when someone called for me. By the time I was able to return, it had disappeared. How happy I am to have back, have it back in my possession. Thank you again for spending the time and energy to reunite us, Schwarzer. There's no trouble at all. I am kind of curious about that brush, though. Looks like you've used it for a long time. Ah, so you noticed. It was a gift from an old friend of mine, you see. In our younger days, we were constantly sparring, both to improve our skills and to motivate one another. He was one who urged me to take up the art of Eastern calligraphy. I suppose it's been around ten years since then. It's impressive that you've had the same brush for so long now. My apologies, Reen, but I 
afraid I must be going now. I wish I had more time to discuss the finer points of calligraphy with you, but alas. <laughs> Maybe some other time. I hope I didn't make you late, though. <laughs> Don't fret. I cannot thank you enough for returning my brush to me. Please, take this as a sign of my thanks. Holy Sphere, thank you very much. And with that, I will take my leave. Look forward to hearing your report on the old schoolhouse upon my return. Oh, hey, sun's glowing. I wonder if his old friend is really who I think it is. Anyway, I probably shouldn't be loitering in this room. Oh, shoot. There is sun glowing in there. Oh, well. Uh, so let's see. Destination. Next is the engineering building. Hey there, George. What you working on? The old schoolhouse is just full of surprises, isn't it? First the elevator, now the mechanical red door. Maybe I should go check it out when I finally get some free time. Just not now, though. I'm totally exhausted after all that work. Maybe my brain could use a little jump start from that super sweet donut that I've got tucked away in the cupboard. He couldn't look any happier if I gave him a million mira. He must really love sweet things. Alright. Uh, da da da. Let's see. Nope. I can finish off Laura's. Sure. And that's all I can finish off for now. Alright, uh... Let's go to the gym, but not to talk to anyone. Uh, not to talk to Laura. There's someone else. Huh. I, I haven't had a serious duel with someone in quite some time now. Patrick isn't so bad himself. Like anyone's gonna believe that after the way you demolished him. Holy hell. You and I didn't stand a chance when you uh, go all out. But I guess that's what makes you the terror of the fencing club. Alright, and that's it. Now to the roof. Because we have a little friend up here. There you are. There you go. <laughs> Kitty. Alright, with that, we have... Let's see, Fee is just, by, uh, just away from the courtyard. Probably uh, doing her activities. Uh, Elisa is at the academy field. Uh, Crow is right outside the student, uh, the engineering building. Eusis and, uh, Gaius are at the library. Machias, Emma, and Toa are at the student union. Elliot's on the second floor. Um, say so we gotta talk to these guys. Alright, so not here. They must be in their clubs. Monkey, I'm a little surprised with, given that we both had. Ooh. Um, but. So, yeah, Monkey has had both the swimming practice and going to the old schoolhouse. So, our club's going to be shut down if we lose next month's, month's match? Sorry, Monkey. Seems like they went ahead and forced us uh, through approval somehow. What a waste. I thought this year was really looking up uh, once you join. It's not over yet, Stefan. If they've hit us this hard, that's all the more reason to hit back even harder. We're going to completely annihilate them. Yeah. I'm rooting for you guys. Hello. What you up to?
Why, hello, Reen. How are you today? That's how uh, most people start their conversation. Is it really that uh, so hard? <laughs> My apologies. I wholeheartedly suggest that you take care special care, though. Well, she can at least end the conversation well. Oh, hey. How's it going? How would you like to accompany me to the summer festival, Toa? Everyone needs a break every now and then, and this seems like a perfect one. Hmm, I'd like to, at least, maybe if I can get all this work out of my way. Going to the summer festival would be awfully nice. Maybe if I manage to finish all of this work. Workahol. <laughs> Alright, so Emma wasn't in her club, so I must have missed her when I was down here. Hmm. Is she back here? Shouldn't be. Emma is in this building, right? Uh, let's see. Map. Yeah, I saw those. I saw those. Could she have... Yeah, and there's no one up here. It's locked for the day. There's Machias and his club partner. There's Toa and... Um, Angelica. Then there's the, the fortune teller girl. Seeing on here. There's the guy that works there. There's the lady works there. There's the chef. I saw those two. I saw those three students and none of them were Emma. Oh my goodness. Maybe if I just gone closer. <laughs> oh my god. Dorothy's uh, been hard at work trying to encourage me to read books detailing extreme friendships between men. Looking back on it now, that seems to have been her intention ever since I joined the club. Uh, what was the shame that took me this long to realize it? Oh my god, I'm an adult. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Alright, next up, uh, the library. A number of important guests are invited to the banquet held at the Imperial Palace each year. I imagine my father and brother's names are on the guest list, being members of one of the four great houses. But with the tensions between the armies and other ongoing issues, I'm certain uh, what they'll choose to. I'm not certain what they'll choose to do this year. Not that it's any of my business, of course. Our field study in Norton got me interested in reading about several old legends. That's how I ended up coming to the library with Eusis, hoping he can point me towards some good books on the subject. Well, to the field. Ah, there you are. Is that Ferris? What in the world is she doing? We don't have practice today. You okay? I is it possible that I truly wish to become friends with Elisa? Uh, why must uh, my brother say such things? I cannot get the, uh, these twisted thoughts out of my head. Alright, so that's that. So, to the courtyard, and then a quick jaunt over across. The flowers I'm trying to raise aren't doing great. Maybe I can't raise flowers after all. They say flowers reflect the heart of whoever raises them. I'm sure Fee's flowers will get better as soon as she's, uh, she overcomes whatever issues she's dealing with. I guess people like me can't make flowers bloom. Uh, so the flowers know that she, uh, what she's dealing with. Good. Okay. All right, let's go say hi to Crow. We 
We found a magazine that's offering prizes if you can pick the winners at the summer races. Time to finally cash in on all the time I've spent at the tracks watching and wishing I had the money to bet. <laughs> I've pretty much got this contest wrapped up with a bow already. Oh, I wish you the best of luck. And now to figure out who to spend uh, my bonding point with. It's either Elliot or Laura. I get the feeling I'm going to be with both on the on the next field study. So the coin has spoken. Let's see. There's one there. There's one there. I'm. Let's see. Laura went off uh, to the training hall on her own. I hope she cheers up before too long. The training hall, you say? Oh my goodness, am I dunce? I am dunce. Very dunce. What's Laura doing here? Looks like she's really concentrating. Is she practicing her cuts here? Well, I can't see any downsides to watching Laura train. Maybe I'll even learn a thing or two. Sure. It might be best to just observe from a distance. <laughs> Impressive as always, Laura. Oh, Reen, I didn't see you come in. <laughs> Sorry, I saw you practicing and couldn't help but stand and watch. You didn't uh, want to break your concentration with some big greeting either. I'm glad I didn't, because your form was spectacular. That's very kind of you, Reen. But there's no need to lie. You're a, a skilled enough swordsman to have seen the uncertainty in my every swing just now. Sorry, I guess that was out of line. I understand your desire to protect my feelings, but I still have a way to go. There's nothing more to it. I was hoping that practice would clear my mind, but unfortunately that was not the case. I'm guessing this has something to do with Fee. Elisa told me that, as Fee's elder, I shouldn't let my emotions get to me so much. That's a perfectly reasonable expectation, but I find myself failing to do so time after time. I suppose this means I'm more hot-headed than I thought. Laura, listen. I'm not going to pretend I understand exactly what's going on between the two of you. But I don't think there's any need to force yourself to be any more of an adult than you are. What? For one thing, we're not adults. We're students. We're here uh, in part to learn how to be adults. It's like swordsmanship. No matter how hard you train, you can't rush mastery. These things take time, right? That's why I don't think you should try to wish yourself into adulthood. Reen. If you ever need a clear your mind, just give me a call. We're both pursuing the way of the sword, so the least I can do is spar with you every once in a while. If you want to, we could even go at it right now. That won't be necessary. I'd like to take the time to think things uh, over on my own today. That's perfectly fine. I do appreciate your offer, though. And I'll be sure to take you up on it once I've resolved my current concerns. Got it. Really look, uh, look really looking forward to that. <laughs> Thank you, Reen. I look forward to crossing swords with you myself. I'll be sure to issue a formal challenge to you once I've done with my current concerns. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright. So now... Uh, let's... Let's go say hi to Elliot real quick. Can't bond with him, but... I can at least say hi. And I keep going the wrong way. Ooh, is there a party going on here or something? I see what's going on. 
Far be it for me to interrupt. Oh. You playing piano? Were you playing uh, the piano, Elliot? <laughs> yep. I thought it might lighten my spirits a bit. I'm starting to feel a little nervous now that our performance is coming up. Ah, right. Sorry to inter for interrupting you. You're performing at the church in town, right? Yeah, that's the one. We're hoping a lot of the townspeople and kids will come out to see us. The Wind Orchestra holds a concert like this every year. Last year's was apparently a huge success. Oh, really? Guess I should go see it if I have the time. Thanks. I really hope you can make it. Alright, and with that... It's time to go on home. Uh, before I do, though. Yeah, I've got... I've got some stuff on my side. Alright. Let's head on back to the dorm. Let's end this day. Uh, it's been a long day. I keep thinking about that red door down the fourth floor of the old schoolhouse. Oh well. Dwelling on it isn't going to magically make it pop open. I should probably head back to the dorm. Let's go. You're headed back to Ring? Yep. Hi, guys. Yeah. You all on your way back then? Uh, yeah. I'm feeling a bit bush today. I figured it was about time to return to the dorms, too. Uh, to be honest, I was hoping to get some more studying in. But since everyone else was going back... <laughs> good old peer pressure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, aren't Laura and Fee with you? I'm afraid not. We looked for them, but they were nowhere to be found. They're old enough to find their own way back. I guess you're right, but it's a shame we couldn't all go back together. Reen? Oh? Huh? Hmm. Oh, look who it is. <gasps> Little Miss Schwarzer. Who is that girl? Isn't that uniform... Elise? When did you... What? I is that your sister? The one and only. What are you doing here, Elise? And this late in the day, too. Look deep in your heart and you'll find your answer. What? Elise Schwarzer. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Reen's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while? Okay. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Must have said something upsetting in that letter. It's been a while, huh? Must be six months since I saw you? Seven? Yeah. The last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. I'm sorry. I wanted to meet you out here too. It's just... I've been so busy lately. Besides, it's not easy to get permission to leave St. Astraea's campus, is it? Astraea, got it. Astraea. Reen, can you see your face? You're in trouble. It's entirely beside the point. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. Add 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. You also gotta Sorry, think 50 minutes really back. Am. I kept being hit with classwork, exams, field studies. But you're right. I probably could have made time if I'd made that a priority. It's just that... Didn't make it a yes. priority. Well, it's just that when I saw you last year, you seemed kind of distant. I thought maybe you'd started to find me a bother. So I figured it'd be best to just stay out of your way, I guess. I was never distant. Maybe it seemed that way because, well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> She's blushing. If something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me about it. it. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever. And I swear on Adios' name that I never will. R really? I'm happy to hear that. All right, then. I'm going to clear up some time to come to the capital and see you. Promise. And you're always welcome to come visit me here, too. Really? 
Seems a little overbearing just for that. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind, but that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? Should I? The letter. Oh, that's the last letter I sent to you, isn't it? Oh, did you come for the souvenir I got you on our trip to the Nord Highlands? <laughs> I found this cute accessory there that I figured you'd like. You did? Wait, no, that's not why I came either. The issue here is the final part of your letter. It's possible that after I graduate, I'll join the army. Even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. I really want to repay Mom and Dad for all they've done for me, so I'd appreciate your help with that at some point. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Hope you're doing well. Rain Schwarzer. Ah, that. What? what? Did you mean by even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. I mean, he probably just wants to get on to some kind of form of work or, or something. by wanting to repay mother and father. You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family, are you, Reem? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Reem! I have no intention of becoming the head of the family or the next Baron Schwarzer. <sighs> What's so surprising about that? I was adopted. I wasn't born into a nobleman's life. The best thing would be for you to marry a good man and have him succeed Dad as Baron. That doesn't even make sense! You might not be related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son. And the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under Imperial law. Yeah. If the adopted child is of noble blood. At least that's how it's gone in most cases. And I'm not. Oh. What am I? Some abandoned kid that dad found buried in a blizzard 12 years ago. I couldn't even remember where I was from. Or life before that. Just my name. And when he chose to take me in as his son, dad became the hot topic of high society. Okay, and? People called him eccentric, crazy. Some of them even accused him of being unfaithful to mom. One even asked him to his face if he intended to open wide the gates of the nobility to some low-born bastard. At some point, he got tired of dealing with all of it. He started to avoid leaving Ymir, and eventually, he stopped showing his face at all among the nobility. Except on rare occasions. I've caused a lot of trouble for our family, and I really don't want to cause any more than I already have. I doubt I'll be able to leave the Schwarzer name behind, but at the very least, I want you and Mom and Dad to have the respect you deserve with your peers. After all, you'll be 16 mm. next year, <laughs> making your debut into high society. I know it might seem extreme to you, but try to understand how I feel. I'll still visit Ymir. It's not like I want to just walk out of your lives altogether. That's not it. I mean, Mom and Dad have always looked out for me, and that's a debt I'll never... You don't get it. You don't get it at all. You don't understand how father feels. You don't understand how mother feels. And you don't understand how I feel. Elise? You don't. You're the worst! Why do you always have to be so stubborn? I hate you! I hate you! Elise? Idiot. Well, what are you doing just standing there? Y'all listening in? What are you... Look, I'm sorry we might have overheard you, but that's beside the point right now. Don't just stand there. Go after her. She was crying. <sighs> I know this isn't a simple problem, but you can't just leave things like they are. She needs you. Indeed. You have a duty to her as family. Okay. I will. If you see her around, let her know I'm looking for her. We will. So get going. <laughs> You've got a slap or two coming when you do find her, I'd wager. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised everyone... Like, I was expecting, like, a few of them to listen in, but not everyone. I can't 
sensor anywhere. I need to start looking around the entire campus. <laughs> Alright, um, have you seen her? You're looking for, uh, for a young lady from St. Astraea's girls' school? I'm afraid that I haven't seen anyone who uh, even could have been her. Perhaps she isn't in this building at all. Helpful. Alright, um, okay, I can warp. Oh, hey, important marks. B, have you seen her? There's a Lisa. B? What are you doing back here? Hmm, not here either. V? Are you looking for a Lisa too? Mm-hmm. I got a call about what happened. No luck so far, though. Really? Thanks, I appreciate it. Sounds like you had a family spat. <laughs> they told you all about that, huh? Not a, I'm not a noble by birth. Fact is, I don't even have a drop of noble blood in me. I'll always be an outsider to, in their world. That's why I know the day will come when I have to leave home. Because I don't belong there. Not really. I thought Elise would understand that, but it doesn't seem like she does. Until the other Zephyr... Uh, until the others in Zephyr took me in, I was alone too. I never even knew my real parents. So I understand, at least a bit. But they were still family to me. I never thought about leaving them. Why would I? That's the place... Uh, that's the one place I knew I'd always belong. Don't you feel that about your family? I... Well, it's none of my business. Let's just find her. You're right. I'll leave this area to you then. Thanks, V. Okay. Alright. Laura, are you looking for Elise too? I am. I heard about her disappearance earlier and have been searching for her since. Thanks. I really appreciate it. You should have... You should save your things until after we found her. I was informed of what happened between the two of you. Oh, I'm sorry you got dragged into that. Uh, what should have been just a family matter. Belonging to the nobility comes with countless obligations and complications. And your family situation is more complex than that. I believe I understand at least some of your frustrations. Laura. However, there's one thing I feel I have to ask you. Could you swear to your sister, with your hand on your heart, that your choice isn't simply your desire to escape that life? Forgive me, it's not my place to pry. Not at, uh, not least when I have my own hesitations to overcome. No, you're right. Looks like you've got things covered here, so I'm going to go look somewhere else, okay? Understood. Leave this area to me. To student union. What's wrong, Reen? You seem awfully flustered. Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in some kind of trouble. It's, well... Reen explained to Toa and Angelica that he was searching for his sister. Your sister? Yeah, I don't suppose either of you have seen her, have you? Not that I'm aware of. I've been here talking with Toa for a while now. I see. Hmm, a stunning young beauty from St. Astraea with luscious Ebon locks. And she's Reen's sister, too, so I'm sure she must have the grace of the finest, most delicate flower. So whoever finds her gets to be her one true prince, right? Absolutely not. Angie, this is serious. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Anyway, we'll do what we can to help. I'll take the Orwell bike for a ride around the academy grounds and see if I can find her. Honestly. Um, I'll do what I can as student council president to see if we can find her too. 
I'll call you as soon as we hear anything, so keep searching. Thanks, both of you. Alright, let's get out of here. I asked around, but no one around here has seen her. Sorry about that, Reen. No worries. Thanks for checking. She has to be somewhere on campus at the very least. Move on to the next place. we Will do. So we can't find her. Alright. The next thing says the... Uh, Head to the gate. What am I going to do? I can't find her anywhere. Did she go back into town? It feels like she wouldn't have left the academy grounds, though. Yo, Reen, what's up? Is that who I think it is? It is Crow. How's it going? Crow? I'm just looking for someone. A classmate? Or did some second year sweetheart confess to you and you botched things up? Actually, it's my younger sister. She's not a student here, though. Oh, you have a sister? Honestly, I always kind of got that only child vibe from you. Well... I guess that must be who that girl I saw earlier was then. Long black hair, St. Australia Academy uniform, tear-stained cheeks. Uh-oh. That has to be her. Where did you last see her? She was talking with one of those upper crust boys in white, out on that path behind the school. That stuck up first year, what's his name? High Arms, I think? Oh, Patrick High Arms. Don't you dare start acting like you're above me, Reed Schwarzer. <laughs> That's the first thing you remember. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. With him? Well, let's start heading over there then. He's the worst. Why does he never think about what would make him happy? I'm such an idiot. Why can't I just be more honest with him? with myself uh -oh. <laughs> sound wrong where am I oh who might you be that's the uniform of Heimdall's Saint Astraea girls school if I'm not mistaken what brings a lady like yourself all the way out here I, I'm sorry, I... No, I, I apologize. I, I wasn't accusing you of anything. I... Wait, right. I, I should introduce myself first. My name is Patrick. Patrick Hyars. I'm sure you've heard the name before. Hyars? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Baron Schwarzer. Ah, Elise. Such a lovely sounding name. Wait a second. Schwarzer? As in Reen Schwarzer? Are you his sister? <laughs> yes. Reen is my elder brother. Why does she have to be related to that Cretan? Wait. He was adopted. That means they aren't related by blood. Patrick. It seems you're not on the best of terms with my brother. I don't wish to cause you any unpleasantness, so I'll just excuse myself. N no, no, you aren't. I, I mean... Wait! That way! Oh, uh, she's head heading to the old schoolhouse. You said you saw her behind the old schoolhouse. Which way did she go? Hmm. Oh, right. Come on. I'll show you where I saw her. Much appreciated. 
Let's go. Where could she have scurried off to? The old schoolhouse is usually locked, so I don't think she could have gone in there. Patrick! Hello. You. Where's Elise? You better not have tried to pick a fight with her and scared her off. I did no such thing. I, I just happened to see her crying, so I approached her to see what was wrong. Then, when she took off running this way, I, I followed her, out of gentlemanly concern. He's more or less telling the truth. Looks like she definitely came through here, though. You think she could have gone into that old schoolhouse you guys poke around in every month? Couldn't be. We locked it after we finished up in there earlier. Green. I mean, there's no keyhole, so. Huh. A short while earlier. Oh no. Where am I? Shouldn't you leave? wasn't locked. Kitty, what are you doing? A cat? Oh. Why are you feeling inclined to follow the cat? Why did she come down here? Why did she feel like she needed to follow the cat? I saw earlier. I don't see anywhere it could have hidden itself. Oh, it looks like there's something written here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, great. So it was an elevator. I must have descended pretty far underground. Don't go near it. Uh, she's going near it. When does the survival instinct kick in? When is it just like, maybe I should have gone back outside? What's this? A red door? It seems awfully huge. Maybe it leads to somewhere important? <sighs> oh. Fourth lock released. Initialization complete. Potential Awakener waveform confirmed within 50 ARG. Commencing the first trial. Um. <clears throat> uh oh. Run. Uh-oh. That's no good. Elise! Where are you? Hmm. No sign of her. <sighs> Why do I have to? Elise! The scream? It came from farther inside. But the elevator's here. 
What is this place? Wow, this is what it looks like down here now. Oh, there's the elevator. <laughs> 